So, would you like to introduce yourselves and who you are in the band? Uh, I'm Derek. I'm the bassist and lead vocalist. I'm Ben. I'm the drummer. I'm Sam. I'm the guitarist. And together you are? Cactus Cathedral. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, how long has this been a thing? I've lost but track of time. I think <laughs> it was, what did we say? For the fair years. Seven and a half. Like, October of 2016, I think, yeah. Sam and I jammed for the first time. And, so. and then I met him. So yeah, I'd say 2016. So how many is years that is that? Five, six years? Yeah. yeah. 17, 18. 19, 20, 20, 22? No, I mean, in total, 17 or 18 years. <laughs> oh, pretty much. <laughs> it feels uh, that way. Yeah, it's pretty much. I mean, do years count anymore? No, not really. Not yeah, the way things are. Really. So um, did how much did the, the pandemic slow you down? It hit us pretty hard. Yeah, we had well, we couldn't. We did record an album. Yeah. During in twenty twenty. The start of it, we we did an album, but we had a lot of shows that we were. Well, yeah, we had a lot of cool yeah. shows coming up that yeah, yeah did not. We'd play in happen. like breweries. We're gonna be like the first metal band to play in this brewery. So, yeah, Middle Ages Brewery. I was like so excited for that. Yeah, show. yeah. I mean, then that, yeah. that fell through. And just we had a couple other things that we had that were lined up, just regular shows, but they were gonna be good fun shows that just fell through because of it. Yeah. yeah. Of we were start like that was about when we were starting to like get booked for bigger like national opener or yeah. national touring bands and stuff like that. And yeah, we were like, "This is going to be the year." Man. Yeah, this, this is, is it. This is it. Guys. Guys. <laughs> and everything just fell apart. It was bad. But we're getting back to there now, though. <laughs> we, yeah, we've we've, we've definitely we've crescendo some shows yeah. now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Open for Crowbar recently. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, we got to play open for Crowbar. That was, that that was awesome. Yeah. Big deal. They were really cool guys. Yeah, Kirk's awesome. Yeah, really fun show to play. Cool. That's a nice fit, actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a really good fit. <laughs> Where's the name come from? Ah. Uh, should we say it? Okay. Yeah, it yeah like, I don't care. Random, it was literally, <laughs> we were messing around with a random name generator. And it was, wasn't it specifically? We were, we were intending to use We were not things. intending to use it. It was not something that we were like, <laughs> we can't think of anything. We were just fucking doing it. But, uh, but uh, we actually, like, one of that knit cactus. We came across came it. came out and we are like, oh. Yeah, we're like actually that we kind of it's off the tongue a little bit, and, and we just rolled with it. And you know, honestly, I haven't heard one negative thing about it either. Like everybody, no. it's a perfect name. Yeah, people remember it too. People were just like, "What was the name of your band? Cactus Cathedral." Mm. I'm like, "You can't forget it." <laughs> and that's so. Yeah, random chance of the universe wanted to help you. That's out. what it was. <laughs> yeah. For a while, we were we were known as Joint Affair, yeah. but that was before think, we did any. I don't shows. think any of us actually liked that name. No, it was, yeah, uh, we had it was a different singer at the time. Yeah, uh, we just rolled with it for yeah. the time being. Then we ditched that uh, after he left. Yeah. So after we booted him out. <laughs> How many of you were in the original lineup? The three of us. Three, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. It's always it's, been the three was, of us. It was like us with a vocalist, like in the beginning uh, for like a year, and then yeah, we finally did a like kind of recorded a little demo with him, and because like we were jamming, we really couldn't tell what his vocals were like. Like it oh, just okay. it sounded all right jamming, yeah. but then. We recorded it, and he was like off time, off pitch, off key, everything. And well, just <laughs> yeah, and, and he was uh, like when we started, we yeah, I think we jammed like covers, and he was he could do those. Yeah, covers were oh, easy. I guess and we started listening to him, but like we're coming up with his own original. I, we we tried to ideas, form a yeah, sound; it just didn't out. work. But no hard feelings. Yeah, it was years ago. Yeah, yeah you two guys. Uh, which in another oh, yeah. band we've before. we've jammed for years before that close to ten years now. close to ten years we tried a prog rock project we tried to do like a two man sort of um, kind hardcore. of like a math rock hardcore kind of project for a while um, and then just neither of that really worked out for anything hmm. and then we met Sam and it just took off from there yeah. we just found the sound that kind of sludgy southerny grimy sound and just rolled with that what, what, how does the songwriting go with you guys. Kind of jamming, really. Pretty much, yeah. Ninety yeah. percent of it's just jamming. We just we would always sit down and we go, all right, what are we feeling right now? And we go something fast, something slow, something heavy. So we just roll with whatever we're thinking, and we'll just kind of start jamming out on a riff, and then it'll build into a progression. Yeah. And our problem is we give come up with great jams, and then we. <laughs> yeah, 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 we go. Wait, did we record that? I was just going to ask yeah. you if you recorded your jam session. We sometimes remember sometimes, to, sometimes, sometimes yeah, don't. Sometimes not. Yeah, I'm sure there are some really, really great. We lost some riffs. Good, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, some good stuff. That Grammy-winning record was <laughs> was in there somewhere. It's lost in time. We were actually going to be the winners next year. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. yeah. That's a little sneak peek. Just kidding. <laughs> and lyrically, where where did those come from? Um, Sam's wrote a song or two. Yeah, you write the majority. I write the majority of the songs. Really, um, I kind of do, uh, 
when we're jamming out, I'll come up with just kind of something, the first thing that pops to my head in terms of the theme of the song, something that just kind of, I feel meshes with the vibe and the melody of it. And then I'll just kind of roll on it from there. Sometimes though, it will just be gibberish. It will just be nonsense mm. just to kind of go in time and kind of feel out how I would hear the vocal sounding if I was listening to this song for the first time. So and it, then you put words to the gibberish. And then I put words to the gibberish and I listen to the recordings over and over again. And we just jam on it over and over. And usually these things just form into itself. It takes its own life in a way. And it seems like cryptids are a big, uh, cryptids are a big thing. Mm. Ghosts, aliens, um, trying to kind of go into the kind of fantasy realm, like Sister Sorceress is, you know, wizards and demons and things like that. Um, every once in a while I try and go in that way, but it's mainly cryptids and ghosts and nice. and the, the good stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And how many albums do you have out as of now? Just one full. Yeah. One, one full. We've got like a couple um, EPs. Well, a couple singles, yeah, yeah. a couple EPs, but we got one full-length album and work went on a second yeah. full-length album. And uh, you're working on that currently? Currently, yes, right now. Well, well the, I'm going to be working We're going on, to. We, we haven't yeah. started it yet. <coughs> well, we've, been, we've got all these new songs. Yeah, we're working on the songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah the songs, are, we, we're about halfway done writing songs, and then we'll start recording it and hopefully have it out at some point. No actual date, though, because we don't want to rush it in any yeah. sort of way. Good. We're not trying to put yeah. a, a time stamp on it. And you're releasing songs as you get them done, or uh, like are those going to be the final versions for the album, or are those more of a just a hey, here's something we've been working on? No, no, the stuff that we've like with that single when we uh, yeah we did the single for Last Words that's Redemption, kind of just yeah. one off. That was yeah. almost just yeah, like will, a, that song will be on the album, but we're yeah. recording it. Yeah. We'll do a re-recording. Yeah. We well, usually like to I mean. do that. Yeah, yeah. Gonna... yeah, we like to put out like a single of something. You know, this is what we're working on right now. Yeah. Almost like a half demo. Like it's good to go. Um, but as time progresses, you know, we then do an album version of it. Right, right. Okay. Well, uh, is there anything else people should know? Uh, be in Ithaca June 2nd. <laughs> yeah, we're, we have a show. We, we will oh, be where? playing Ithaca and uh, Pete's Kiyuga Bar. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we'll be playing there June 2nd, 8 o'clock, with uh, Cobra Cadaver and Water Bears, some Riff Masters, so that'll be fun. Hmm. Um, nothing else, though. Okay, what about uh, uh, Web Presence? Oh, we've got Instagram. Just You can search us, Cax Cathedral, Instagram, Facebook. Um, we now have a Gigmore page. That's a new kind of thing that bands are starting to what make. What is that? That's more of like, um, oh, it's so, like, like it, it kind of forms an electronic press yeah. kit for you oh. in a way. It kind of conglomerates all your info, all your links into like a ready to go just link that will bring cool. you to everything that you want. I Songs think, will automatically play. Yeah, and I think you can also use it. I believe Gigmore, like, you can also, like, search for musicians if you're trying to make a band. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, and then if you're a promoter, too, you can actually find bands, and then you can, like, message and right, right. put shows together. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool little thing. All right, what do you guys post the most? Uh, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. That's our biggest two. Probably Instagram more. Instagram's becoming the, the big social media thing it now. It really I is. Like, yeah. I feel like Facebook's kind of fading away in, in a little bit of a way, because Instagram, we seem to have a bigger presence a bigger following of people on there that watch your stuff. So that's where most of it is. Cool. Well, thank you guys very much. For coming yeah, thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So much fun. This is great. Yeah. yeah.